we are at the time of the year when uh, the wheat crop is coming out of dormancy and uh, we have a green app and, and it's a good time to start uh, looking for potential issues that we may see out there. There are uh, possible reasons why we may have some discolor uh, chlorosis issues that are showing up at this time of the year and could be many reasons. Perhaps uh, we have issues with disease or saturated soils in some situations. If we focus specifically in one of the factors that may be contributing to yellow wheat this time of the year, that could be sulfur deficiency. And this is one issue that we've been seeing more and more in Kansas. Uh, and so it is something we need to pay very close attention to. Oftentimes we tend to confuse sulfur deficiency with nitrogen deficiency because of the similarities that we see in symptoms. However, there are some key differences. Nitrogen deficiency usually tends to be chlorosis, yellow leaves in the lower part of the canopy. Uh, and in the case of sulfur deficiency, those usually happen in the younger upper leaves. So those are key differences that we need to pay attention to. Um, one of the questions, of course, is what can we do about it at this point? Can we do something to, to correct the issue? And yes, uh, we can definitely do applications of sulfur at this point, uh, and we can see good response and recover the yield potential uh, near the, the, the full potential in most cases. However, there are a few things that we need to keep in mind, and one of those is the form of sulfur fertilizer that we are using. It needs to be an immediately available form, which uh, has to be an, in the sulfate form, and so we're talking liquid, uh, things like tile sulfate or ammonium sulfate dry fertilizer. Uh, all of these will be a good options for application at this point. Again, those are gonna be soluble, immediately available. They are mobile in the soil, so needs to, uh, we need to have rainfall uh, or uh, precipitation to move that sulfur in the root zone and see that uh, response. And so, yes, it is something that we can, we can uh, um, fix at this point. Uh, however, again, we need to be looking at fields and, and pay clo close attention to potential issues of yellowing associated with sulfur deficiency, which again is becoming more and more common to see in, in our wheat fields in Kansas.